The man who coached Aussie swimming great Ian Thorpe will travel to New Zealand in July to work with promising Kiwi star Lewis Clairbert. Clairbert won a medley bronze medal at last month's Commonwealth Games and Doug Frost liked to what he saw. There's no rest for Wellington teenager, not only back in the pool after his Gold Coast success but also back to reality. I missed four weeks of uni, so I've had assignments after assignments due, says Claire Burt, who is already eyeing up his next challenge. The only way you can win an Olympic medal is if you believe you can and I stand by that my whole life. Kiwi teen Lewis Clairbert ecstatic with bronze medal in 400m medley, that's how my training goes, I have to believe whatever I want to do, now he has Frost helping him, a man who guided Thorpe to 13 Olympic medals, including 9 golds. That's what we are lacking in New Zealand, says Capital Swim Club head coach Gary Hollywood. There are no coaches in New Zealand who have that level of experience and he sees the potential in Lewis, so he's going to give him an insight into areas no one else can. While Clairbert took four and a half seconds off his personal best at the games, it also gave him a taste of just how far he still has to go. I was versing a guy called Chad Leclo, who beat Michael Phelps at the 2012 Olympics, says Clairbert. It gave me a massive fright because I was racing right next to him and as soon as we started off the blocks, he was already a whole body length in front of me, even with some way to go, Hollywood knows he has a special talent on his hands. In 32 years of coaching, I've only coached five swimmers like him before, he says. But even a Commonwealth medal doesn't give him all the spoils of your typical university student. To be honest, I haven't been able to go to many uni parties yet, chuckles Claire Burt. A wise choice, if he hopes to stay on the path to Olympic glory in two years' time. News Hub